So Jesus is alive and that fact changes everything. Our outlook on life, the way that we think, what we feel, we can rest assured that we have an intercessor praying on our behalf at the right hand of God. His name is Jesus Christ our Lord. Praise his holy name. Last week we shared with you the fact that some of the staff have been put on furlough and uh, the pastoral and ministry team are going to continue as normal. Well, I'm glad to announce uh, this week that the trustees have also declared that it's right that Joanne Bond, our Christians Against Poverty worker, continues to work and minister to those in need. We do ask that you'd continue to pray about our finances as, as a church. And uh, a bit, bit later on, Mark's going to share with you how you can continue giving if you don't already give uh, through standing orders. We all cope in different ways uh, by being locked down. We thought it would be great to have an insight into one family in terms of how the lockdown is affecting them, what they do throughout it, and uh, maybe even how the resurrection is affecting them. And uh, after this short video, uh, Mark will share something with you. For now, let's have a look at life with the Tenellas. Everybody, just wanted to say happy Easter from the Tenella house. We've been thinking a little bit about the resurrection and all the changes that the disciples had to put up with. And we've been thinking about all the changes we've been making in our lives recently, and you too. So we just thought we'd send you a few clips and pictures of the things we've been getting up to. Okay, bye! Thanks to Nella family, much appreciated. This morning I've brought you down to church so you could have a look around. It's a strange Easter Sunday morning, isn't it, when we're not here all together celebrating the rising of Jesus, our risen Lord. It's time for our offering, and uh, I don't know what you do on a Sunday morning normally, whether you give electronically, whether you wait for the baskets to come round, or whether you're one of the people who dances down to the front and uses the bowls that we have up the front. Today, if you give electronically, you don't need to do anything. But if you give by putting money in the bowls or the baskets, we've got two different ways for you to give today. We'd love to, to invite you to give electronically, to give by standing order or by PayPal. And the details are going along the screen and are in the description below. You could also send a check in to us. We'd love it if you could give electronically. That would be excellent. Let's pray. Father God, we want to thank you for being such an amazing God. We want to thank you for sending your son, Jesus. Jesus, we want to thank you for what you accomplished on the cross. We thank you that you are risen. 
And Lord Jesus, we acknowledge that you are the creator, you are the sustainer and the provider of all things. We thank you that you have provided for our needs. And Lord, we, we thank you for that. And take this offering, this small token that we're giving back to you. Take this and use it for your kingdom's glory, Lord. Use it to build your kingdom in this place and around the world. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Bless you all. Back to John and Margaret. Thank you, Mark. We do appreciate the way that you share these uh, delicate matters. And we know that you as a church will consider these things very, very ser seriously and very prayerfully. And we, as members of the vision team and the vision team, continue to pray for you, for your blessing, for shalom and for your prosperity. One thing that is always constant, no matter what life throws at us, is the love of the Lord. And we're going to remember his greatest act of sacrifice as he laid down his life for us, as he died upon that cross. But we also remember that as we remember these things, that Jesus did rise mm. again. So we're going to take communion now. And Margaret's going to read the Bible passage from 1 Corinthians. And then we're going to have a song that will lead us into worship, that will lead us right to the throne room of God so that we can break bread together. Immediately after the song finishes, we're going to have uh, a musical uh, interlude that will be uh, a time of meditation. And during that time, we suggest that you break the bread and you take the cup together. If you're by yourself, remember you're not by yourself. We're all doing this together, all at the same time, on this wonderful Easter Sunday morning. We are one in Christ Jesus. On the night when he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took a loaf of bread. When he'd given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup of wine after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant between God and you, sealed by the shedding of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. <laughs> 